hi guys um let's quickly talk about how you can create walkthrough inside of twin motion 2019 this is actually a requested video from one of the videos i created within the series and someone wants to know how easy or how tedious or the process it takes to create a walkthrough so for us to create this first of all i would like to have a bit of cloud in any of the renders i'm going to be working on so let's just put some cloud here and next i'm going to go over to the export tab or the media tab here now instead of selecting images we can go ahead and select video i want to click on video go ahead and click on create and add a clip so this is going to be our starting point for the clip you can change the length of the clip if you want so for example let's go ahead and make this 30 seconds next we'll go over to the next point where we want our camera to fly through so let's say for example we want our camera to move over to a point like this let's say a point like this now once we've gotten to the point where we want we can click on the plus sign to add the second um, to add the second camera view or the second view within the clip so how you can preview this is if you uh, click this you go all the way back then you can press the it's uh, obviously evening so what happens is we have this very nice transition that happens all the way from here down to here as well now one more thing we one more thing i need to talk to you guys about is you can create multiple clips if you want so this is actually one clip we can go ahead and create multiple clips so for example let's come back to this time of the day and let's say we want a clip that uh, gives the impression of a drone or something then we can click create clip and we have that and let's zoom all the way down to this place and let's come over to this place in our shot and let's say we want a shot here then we can click on the plus sign to have that now let's go ahead and press play and you can see how smooth it travels from the top down to where it is supposed to end also you have the ability to also change the camera view or uh, other things at the same time so let's say at this point where our camera starts we don't like what we see so we can go all the way we can arrange the shots to look like what we want so let's say we want the shots to start from a point like this once we have the shot or we want we, we have the camera look the way we want it to be we can click on this update button and automatically it's going to update you can play back to see what it looks like and at the same time you can make specific camera changes to a particular shot uh, let me give you an example so let's say in the first shot I want the weather to look a little bit rainy let's so let's come here and say it's rainy at this time of the day and we want it to end with something sunny so we can start from here press the playback and it transitions from being a rainy day to a bright sunny day yeah uh one more thing one more thing okay so if we click on the more button we can also play with the depth of field now all these are specific to the given camera that you're working with so in every single shot you can make any change you want in the shot and it's not going to affect the whole shot now if you want a particular change to affect the whole shot i will suggest that you make all those changes in the beginning before you start creating your clips you can still add clips in between so let's say we want to add a certain clip in between let's zoom all the way down to this part and say we want the camera to travel to somewhere like here first before it comes to this place once we have the position or we have the camera looking like what we want it to be let's uh, position this properly we can press the plus button here and we're also going to have that happen in between the first and the second shot that we have now if we press the playback button it's very easy for us to see what we have now the number of shots that you have inside of a certain clip or the number of images you have inside of the clip would actually make the clip run faster or slower so if i go ahead and increase the number of clips i have or the number of shots i have inside of my clip you see this clip is going to run faster but the smaller it is the slower it runs so it's 
advisable that you play with it and see what works for you and go ahead and use it you can also delete your clips from here if you don't want them to be inside of what you're creating and at the same time you can still change the lighting condition like i talked about the weather you can change the lighting condition of what you want and for individual for individual clips as well so let's uh, let's play with this let's make it more sunny and let's increase the ambient just a little bit and i guess that's it now once you're done with what you're creating you can come over to this part has to do with the export and you can go over here where we have the empty and you can select clip one or clip two depending on the clips you want to export and you can hit export but before you do that click on the more button here and try and make sure that you have maximum reflection on if you have reflection happening inside of your scene maximum maximum lighting on as well excuse me maximum lighting on as well you can select the format that you want if you want png sequences or if you want mp eg sequences which is basically mp4 sequences you can select all of that and once you're done you can click export now within the time we're here it's also advisable that if you have anything that you need to set up please set them up properly before you export because most times depending on what you have in your scene or depending on the clip length your export could take longer time or it could take shorter or smaller time so let's go ahead export this and see what we have so this is what we have and it is basically what we told Twinmotion to export out for us so if you have questions about this video please put them down in the comment section below if you've not subscribed to this channel please subscribe like this video if you like it share it with your friends and don't forget to turn on the notification button so that you get updates next time we upload a video and that's it guys peace